Happy Sunday. Our word this past week was power, and this past week I experienced a landmark that demonstrated our own personal power. And, you know, emotions were high on both sides this week with the election in the United States. And it was saddening to me to see how divided we were. I mean, yes, there was a lot at stake and people are passionate about the issues on both sides. But there's no way if you voted for someone different than I did, it would change the love I have for you. There was only one time in my life when I absolutely thought I was right about everything and that everybody needed to be on Team Brenda, only to discover that I was absolutely wrong. So I have learned to shut my mouth. Yes, speak up and share my opinions, but also keep my ears and my heart open and respect those that differ from me. And that's the way I choose to live my life. But getting back to power. My power is not something I hand over to the person who was elected. Because when it comes down to my day-to-day -day life and how I live it, I'm the one with the power. The decisions that I've made over the course of a lifetime to step away from being so perfectly right in my religious views. And my three year landmark this past year, of choosing not to have alcohol ever again. Three years of sobriety, three years of no hangovers, three years of no regrets related to having one or two or three too many cocktails. I mean, that was a powerful shift in my life and it simply was me choosing to make a decision. That doesn't mean anybody out there who chooses to have a drink is wrong or that I have to try and convince you of the evils of it because the truth is it isn't for everybody. But for me, it's a problem. I am not my best self when I open up the door to alcohol. And so for me, I use my power and make my choices. And I hope that we all would do the same and have respect and regard for those whose ideas differ from us. Anyhow, parting thoughts on power and remembering how hard that decision was for me. And if any of you out there are struggling with a decision, I get it, it's not easy, but rarely is anything worthwhile easy. Three years later though, I'm so glad I made the decision. And you will be too, and you can. You do have the power. So I wonder, oh my goodness, where is my bag? I don't know where my bag is. I always record this ready to pull my word of the week and my bag ain't here. So I'm going to hit pause for a second. Okay. So I found my bag. I forgot that I had packed it with me when I went away with my girlfriends last weekend and forgot to unpack it before recording this week's word. Parting thought on power too. Boy, is it powerful when your best friends get together because you can have the kind of conversations that you just don't, you're not able to pull off with a text or an email or a quick phone call on the way to Zumba. We went deep this past weekend and it was healing and powerful. So maybe you just need some quality time with your girlfriends or guy friends or whomever. Talk about power. All right, so saying a prayer for all of us. How do we move forward no matter how we're feeling, no matter what we're facing? What's the word we need to hang our hat on this week? And the answer is, 
I'm digging in here. This is the one I want. And it is compassion. Compassion and empathy are twins. They're siblings. Having care for someone else and understanding their point of view. Oh, and it is the antithesis of judgment. There was so much judgment flying around this week. So much condescension and elitism, you know, of how dare you have chosen that candidate or how dare you have not chosen that candidate. And notice how I'm not saying who I voted for, because truthfully, it's not the issue. I think it's very important how we treat each other. And compassion does not judge. The tendency too is to want to judge the judgers. I can't believe they said that. Well, you're judging them too. So we'll zip that this week and choose compassion, which builds a bridge between people, tries to understand their point of view and seeks healing and to build bridges. And boy, that's what I want. How about you? Have a very compassionate week. Oh, and don't forget to extend it to yourself as well.